Sports. The Mizzou wrestling team had a chance to become number one for the first time since the 06-07 season when they took on top-ranked Iowa yesterday, and the Tigers proved they were worthy of that top ranking. It was the NWCA National Duels Finals and last duels match of the regular season. In the 125-pound weight class, Missouri's Alan Waters takes on Iowa's Thomas Gilman, and Waters gets the reversal, and he remains undefeated. Mizzou would win four of its first five matches. Tigers up 6-3 now in the 149-pound weight class. Number one, Drake Houdeschelt beats number two, Branson Sorensen, in a 2-1 to decision. And in the 197-pound weight class, Jaden Cox puts his undefeated record on the line against Nathan Barak. A win would complete his undefeated regular season and seal the victory for the Tigers. And he did exactly that with the 4-3 to win. So now Mizzou is going to be ranked number one in the country later today. Next up for the Tigers is the MAC Championships in Columbia on March 7th and 8th. Mizzou has been dominant this season, finishing 24-0 in the regular season. And as we mentioned before, the team is going to be ranked number one in the country later today. And individually, the team has a top 15 wrestler in eight out of the 10 weight classes. From college wrestling to high school wrestling, prep wrestlers in mid-Missouri had a great day at the state championships yesterday. At 126 pounds, Tolton's Brock Moeller is only a freshman, but you would not know it if you watched him wrestle yesterday. He pins his opponent here to capture the state title and check out his celebration. Jumps into his coach's arms in jubilation, and Tolton sent three wrestlers to state. All three of them won state titles. At the 138-pound weight class, Fulton's Josh McClure fights his way to a takedown here. He ends the season a perfect 40-0 and wins his second straight state title. Mizzou signee Will Rourke also won a state championship for Seneca in the 138-pound weight class. In total, four future Tigers competed at state, so the future is bright as well for Missouri wrestling. Back to Tolton now, a 182-pound weight class. Will Tyndall wins back-to-back -back state titles, and he finishes his own perfect regular season 40-0. If you missed the Oscars last night, there's no need to panic. This morning, we're giving out some Oscars to the best mid-Missouri sports since the beginning of the fall semester in athletics. We'll start off with best costume design. That goes to South Callaway football. I mean, need I say more? These jerseys are what I wish I was wearing when I was playing football. They're as good as it gets in mid-Missouri sports. Moving on to best short film. Think of that as best play. And there's too many to choose from with Michael Porter Jr. of Tolton. This kid has been a human highlight reel for this season, putting on a dunk display nearly every game. He's one of the most impressive prep basketball players in the area, and Mizzou is still trying to land him. Best adapted screenplay goes to the Mizzou basketball team, and not for a good reason. They took the normal college basketball script and edited out the winning part. This Tiger basketball team has lost 13 straight games, tied for the longest losing streak in school history. They haven't won a game since January 8th. Best original screenplay goes to the Mizzou wrestling team. As we saw earlier, they won the national duels title yesterday over number one Iowa. That gave them an undefeated regular season and will give them a number one ranking later today for the first time since 06, 07. It will also give them a chance to win Missouri, their first athletic team national championship in 50 years. Now for the big awards. Best director goes to Mizzou football coach Gary Pinkle for his work in 2014, getting the Tigers back to the SEC East championship game despite losing several key starters on both sides of the ball from 2013. Pinkle has the most coaching wins in Mizzou history and is quickly becoming a coaching legend in Columbia. Best lead actress goes to Sophie Cunningham of Rockbridge High School as she was named an All-American earlier this season. The impressive senior basketball player is ranked number three in the country at her position by ESPN, and she is signed to play at Mizzou next season. Best lead actor goes to Shane Ray, the star Missouri defensive end. Ray had a monster season for Mizzou, breaking the program's single season sack record with 14 and a half. Ray is headed to the NFL this spring, and he's currently projected by ESPN to be taken third overall. Best picture will go to the Mizzou Arkansas football game. This game had suspense as Missouri trailed early on only to storm back and topple the Razorbacks. They ultimately won the game 21-14 behind some tricky play calling to give themselves their second SEC ace title in as many years. So ladies, did you uh, check out any of the Oscars last night? I know a lot of us had to be up early to be here, but <laughs> did you catch any of the action? Uh, yeah, a little bit, the small amount. Did I saw the Not opening really act? any. You watched the yeah, other beginning. Yeah, I just saw the beginning because I knew he was gonna sing, but that was definitely relying on highlights. And your sports highlights a cute idea. That was a great idea. She we were just that. Like, oh my goodness, that was such smart writing. We're singing your praises over here. <laughs> I appreciate it. Well done. <laughs>